This video is going to be vloggish because I have a lot to say right now that is going to impact my channel. And if you notice by now, something different, let's go. What's going on my plant peoples? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, houseplants, and humor as a form of mental health therapy. Right? I'm going to give you a clue. That's all I'm going to say. There has been some recent developments in my life. Of course, and I figure I just kind of, you know, kind of fill you in because it's going to impact my channel for a few months. So if you don't know my backstory or you're new to the channel, let me just fill you in on what's going on. Okay, so before I started this channel, technically I was a registered nurse already. Um, and my specialty at the time was dialysis. I was a dialysis nurse. I did all that. It was fun, 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 fun. But the only problem was it was highly, highly stressful job. That is what kind of like tanked my immune system. I do have multiple sclerosis, which is why my health tanked tremendously from the stress. Of course, that's where the gardening came into play because I was an angry, depressed, angry soul that my life has, you know, shifted around because literally nursing was all I wanted to do in life. Like that's what my goal was. I'm not giving up my gardening, just filling you in. So I have a good friend of mine, Freddie. I have a good friend of mine that is in, in the nursing program right now and she kept harassing me. Are you gonna go back to nursing? You know you can go back to nursing. You don't even have to go work in the hospital anymore. You can just do office job. You can even try to do this. But I know, I know you gotta keep the pressure down because of the stress. You'll land and I'll basically land right back here. So my stress level really has to be contained. Of course, Freddy, I hear you, bruh. That's my rooster. Either way. Of course, I want to investigate just so I can tell her like, yo, my window of opportunity has passed. It's been too long. I forgot a lot of stuff. I can't. She goes, no, 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 you can do it. You can do it. And of course, being in a depressed state, I let it all go. Ah, oh, I need to get over it. Gardening is my thing now. And she kept harassing me. So of course, I looked up the information just so I can prove to her that my window of opportunity has passed. And alas, it has not. My window of opportunity to get back my license has not passed or not closed, which of course, not only did the tears start to flow, but um, I, you know, I'm hopeful. First of all, let's even pump the brakes, okay? I know, sounds very, 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 very exciting. I am not gonna put myself in the same predicament like I did before because that will tank my health. Remember, I have health issues, so I really cannot tank my health. So that means I gotta stay out of high stress situations. Now, being that the health system now is high stress, I'm avoiding a lot of stuff. But that does not mean that I cannot get or reestablish, reinstate my license. I wanna be able to say, yes, I'm a nurse again. You're never really not a nurse. I mean, just because your license has expired does not mean that you don't have a lot of that information on here. Of course, I forgot a lot of information because it's been a long time, but that brings me to this channel. Now, being that it's been a long time, I need a few refresher courses, okay? It's been, it's been a while for Jack, okay? So I need to refresh my, my memory banks. I gotta get updated on the latest technology. I gotta get updated on the latest or recent changes of medications and, and procedures and policies in the hospital. Um, I don't have to because I can just go on and straight take the NCLEX and get my license reinstated all over again, but um, being the person that I am, I'd rather take a refresher course along with the NCLEX. Also, a lot of factors for me to consider is one, the winter time is terrible on my body. So usually in the winter time, I go into hibernation. My body feels the best in the summertime, which is why I'm able to, you know, move around more and do a lot more. But when it's winter time, when it's really cold, it's a wrap. My body hurts. It's just my body's in pure rebellion. The point of it is, is that I need to study. I need to study a lot, like a lot, a lot. It's about 50-50. I remember half of the stuff, but I also forgot a lot of stuff. So this is where I need to kind of basically go back into nursing all over again and study. Gardening is not gonna go away. I will continue to garden because not only now, if I'm gonna be studying and stressful, blah, 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 I need something to keep me calm. I need something to keep me grounded. I need something to keep my stress levels under control. So maybe this will lead me to um, different series or something, or maybe another gardening avenue with my channel. 
I'm not really sure, but I know that once I get my license back, God willing, I will be able to do a lot more stuff. Now, of course, my original reason for my channel was to be gardening for mental health and physical health, which is the point of it all. I mean, we really should be using this to balance ourselves, keep ourselves, you know, maintain our stress level. But with that, not only does it give me more, of course, credibility again, but I really could be able to maybe switch or maybe do something gardening related now in a form of like I really wanted to. Stress management, chill, I don't know. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do, but I know I want to continue gardening, but I also know that I need nursing in my life. Apparently, I have not been able to drop it in so long. I need six months of studying. Yeah, six months of studying. This is actually no it is this is a personal goal for me now what are my plans in the future for these six months that i'm going to be not necessarily mia remember you can always catch me on facebook and instagram no matter what regardless even in my own personal life i'm on there so i might as well just be on there for adhd gardener may not be as frequently but you can always contact me through there i also have my website up and running you can always email me also I did have a Patreon. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with it. For now, I don't have the time to make videos for the Patreon and all that stuff, so I don't know. I will be pumping out videos. It's just gonna be a lot slower. I cannot manage the amount of time that I spent on my gardening, my own physical health, and also studying for something that's very, very mentally taxing on me. But maybe I am going to do a series on that, on how stress management with our garden can really, really help us out in our actual lives. Or maybe I'll do like a whole mental health series because basically <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going to need. Mental health, stress reduction. It's all about stress reduction because we all know, remember, and on top of that, on my other future videos, I'll probably be dropping some medical knowledge in there, being that I'm flooding my brain with not only plants, but also medicine. Poof right in there so i don't really know what is going to be coming on let me know down in the comments below what do you think i should do let me know i mean i really don't want to lose you guys i really don't want to lose you but i also don't want to lose this window of opportunity i will still be posting videos it's just at a way slower pace until i get that license back then it's like Maybe I'll take a different gardening approach because remember my channel was always about mental and physical health and how gardening can help that. Now that oh, I will be able to get my license back, God willing, hopefully I will pass this NCLEX, then I will really be able to incorporate body, mind into our gardening. And that would be awesome. That would really be awesome. So hopefully that would work out. Imagine if you go into your like doctor's appointment or you go in for whatever reason and then I show up. Hey Jack, you gonna be my nurse? What? I was good at my job. I always brought my humor. I always brought my sense of humor. It is because studies have shown that a positive mindset, positive outlook really does help your immune system and boosting up, you know, your, your body. And that's the whole point of this. I would love your input. I really would love your input. So let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what do you think I should do? What do you think um, maybe my new avenues of this gardening channel would be? Let me know because I really want to be here. I really want to be here with you guys. And I want to say that I have a lot of true supporters and I really thank you. This is my stethoscope that I had years ago before I stopped practicing. Of course, it's outdated, like a lot of my stuff is. My books are outdated, my flashcards are outdated, everything's outdated because it's been so long. And of course, I, it's not like I can just go pick up and get a job right now. Hello, so money is tight. So I really still need to actually be pumping out videos so I can, you know, make a little something something so I can pay for my books, pay for my anything and I, frankly i don't even know how i'm gonna be able to afford it so i need this gardening channel to keep going because this is going to be helping me pay for my future endeavor and then i'll be able to go bam nurse jackie at your service <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video i don't know i mean i hope you enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions concerns opinions i don't know if i really want your opinion but i guess you know what hey i did ask for it i am still around 
It's just maybe not the way that normally you would see me. So maybe instead of videos, I would do like a live stream on YouTube to, you know, chit chat with you guys and keep you updated and whatnot. I don't really know. We shall find out. Until the next episode, you guys, where you and me both are going to be growing our happiness one planet at a time, one day at a time. I'll check y'all later in the next episode. Peace and love.